You may have heard or seen reports of an invasion of sorts happening in Nevada. Makes my skin crawl just looking at this. Turns out it is true. Yeah, now we're not talking about aliens here, but a bad Mormon cricket infestation covering towns like Elko. It's got residents on edge, and there's really not much they can do. No, Liga Graves in Elko to show us how bad it is and what can be done about it. Some places in Elko are worse than others, and these insects travel, so what's bad today may not be as bad tomorrow. Right now, we're in front of one house covered with Mormon crickets. Residents around town say they've been dealing with these for weeks, and they are tired of it. It is a creepy, crawly, nasty, disturbing sight. It's bugging me. Oh, it's bugging me. Parts of Elko are covered in swarming and migrating Mormon crickets. They're on the roads. You can see that they're moving and crawling, and the whole road's crawling, and it just makes your skin crawl. It's just so gross. And they cover some homes. When we looked out here, it, the whole wall was just covered. That really, really, really freaked me out. Colette Reynolds has been dealing with them for a few days. It causes depression, anxiety. You feel super violated. You, when you're inside the house, it sounds like it's raining because they just randomly let go of wherever they're hanging onto and drop. These swarms happen a lot, but they get noticed in a populated area, according to Jeff Knight, the Nevada state entomologist. We move more and more into the native habitat where these crickets normally occur. He says it's not entirely known why they swarm and migrate, and there are limited options for people to keep them at bay. There is a pesticide route if they want to go that route. There's a route of tolerate it and they probably will move through. There are also cricket fences, which they can't climb. Colette is trying to tolerate for now, hoping they disappear quickly. Some people say they'll move through three or five days, but for some reason they're really sticking around our house. I'm not sure why. We can, of course, get Mormon cricket infestations in Utah. We've had bad swarms before, but right now we're seeing most of these swarms in Nevada, Idaho, and parts of Southeast Oregon. In Elko, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.